guys, it's Iska. Welcome to the big, comfy brown couch in my room slash office. Today, I am going to be walking you through some of the healthy and, I hope, more sustainable changes that I have been making in my uh, daily life, in my week, in my work week, whatever you want to call it. I really thought about doing a morning routine video. However, when it came down to it, um, a portion of my morning <laughs> from like 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. is spent chiding my children to get ready for school. Sometimes more gently, sometimes a little more urgently and it results in basically it being impossible for me to film uh, a morning routine video where some of the footage isn't literally of me rolling out of bed half dead at 6 a.m. maybe squeezing in some yoga <laughs> and then getting the kids going. Um, I would love to say that our mornings are peaceful and organized and go really swimmingly and it would be a complete and utter bald face lie. <laughs> um, I'm just being real with you guys. Uh, I, I cannot in good conscience post a video like that trying to make it look all aesthetic and pretty and act like things are completely different from what they are. It's not fair to you guys to have that sort of thing happen either. Like nobody wants to be lied to about that just for the sake of a good video. Sorry. Um, so instead, what I've done is I've taken a bunch of B-roll, which I think looks more aesthetic and pretty, and I've shown you kind of what my general day-to-day -day routine is uh, from the work week to the weekend. So this video is going to encompass a bunch of things that I do. And the first part of this video, I'm gonna break down what my weekday routine looks like and then um, in the second part of the video I will show you sort of what the work the, the weekend looks like so let's get started and before we do I would be remiss as a youtuber if I didn't remind you that if you want to see more content about me and my life uh, please hit that subscribe button uh, I do focus mostly on spirituality witchcraft and druidry tarot and uh, my fiber arts, but I am bleeding over into uh, lifestyle content as well and sort of showing you what my life is like as a full-time mom and a full-time works remotely from home kind of person who also has a love of all things witchy and tarot and fiber arts. So hit that subscribe button press the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload content. And let's dive into the work week. So I set my alarm every day at 6 a.m. and I use this amazing Philips alarm clock. It is the cheaper version of it, so one without all the extra bells and whistles. There are no sounds, there's nothing like that. <clears throat> it is simply an alarm clock that half an hour before my alarm goes off gradually starts to brighten the light that is all around it until the alarm goes off with definitely a beeping sound but it is much gentler than you get with your typical alarm clock and it helps me especially in the winter time when there is less light to um, make it feel like I'm waking up a little bit more naturally to like the light of the day I am very much one of those people who like when I am up and about, I want all of the curtains thrown open in my house. I want as much sunlight or daylight <laughs> as possible to enter my space. I hate it when I have to keep curtains and blinds closed all the time. It makes me feel very um, squared off in the world in a bad way. And as somebody who has suffered from anxiety and depression all my life and then because I was working in a small windowless room for the last two and a half, three years, uh, you know, at the pharmacy that I was working at, I've developed 
seasonal uh, depressive disorder. Some mornings I get up, I roll out of bed, I go put on the kettle and I get uh, my mat rolled out. Usually by the time I set up all my yoga stuff, my kettle has boiled and then I pour tea and I make pot in my French press. And then I will go do 15 to 30 minutes of yoga and it entirely depends on my mood, what type of yoga that I do. Throughout the month of January, I was doing the 31 day yoga challenge through Boho Beautiful Life, <clears throat> or Boho Beautiful Yoga. And so it was a free challenge. I did not renew my subscription. She has plenty of free videos already on YouTube, as well as all those other amazing YouTube yoga creators. I do not need to pay for my yoga. Um, unless I wanna to go to an in-person class, then I'll pay for my yoga. Um, but I was doing yoga every day or when it did not allow me, my time and my schedule or illness did not allow me to do yoga every day. I was combining two, sometimes even three days worth of yoga into one and doing all the classes in a row to sort of um, keep up with it. So as it stands now, uh, tomorrow is the last day that I will be doing that 31 day challenge. And then my intention is to try to do yoga about three times a week and to combine it with other forms of mindful movement, things like walking, things like some actual exercises with exercise bands and resistance bands in the house, as well as hiking and stuff. <clears throat> After I've made tea, if the kids are not up yet and I have a bit of time, I am almost certainly going to grab my cup of tea and sit on the couch and just mindfully sip and watch the world wake up. Uh, Right now, there isn't a whole lot of sunlight in the morning when I'm trying to do this, so mostly it's just me peering out the window, thinking, maybe stroking a cat if I'm lucky, and um, just enjoying a bit of peace and quiet. Because from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. is go time. That is when I have to focus on being mom and making sure that I'm managing myself, getting ready for my day to sit down at my desk between 8 and 8.30, and I need to have my kids out the door. Youngest is out at eight, the other two usually between eight and 8.15. So I need to make sure that they are on top of things. In between me chiding the kids along, I'm getting dressed, I'm doing my hair, I'm putting makeup on, um, or doing just doing skincare, whatever I feel like for the day, and then once the youngest leaves, I can relax. <laughs> she is the one that takes the most time and attention at the moment. And once she leaves, I can relax. <clears throat> I usually log on to my work computer and then immediately go into Notion. From Notion, I then go into my weekly plan and I go and set three to four to-dos and tasks that need to be done each day. Some of them I preset uh, at the beginning of the week. I also put in appointment reminders in my uh, Notion to do page. And I also use my uh, daily tasks page uh, as a way to record any of the like sort of abstract things that are kind of coming up for the week that I don't know exactly what day to assign them to yet, since I do work from home and my schedule can fluctuate a bit. So I'll use a different Notion page to sort of track my weekly tasks. I also keep track of my life in Notion through um, a special template that I got from another wonderful YouTube creator, Jules Acree, which I will um, link down below. And I use her uh, quarterly review as a way to sort of break things down by quarters and then inside there by months, and there is a review process. I then will go into work emails, getting caught up on those, and then usually around nine o'clock to 10 o'clock is a meeting or some, some sort of training that I need to shadow on because I'm still learning how to do a lot of the parts that are gonna be coming up in my uh, work. Things I don't do yet that I will be soon. And yeah, um, mornings are just crazy in here. Uh, if there are household tasks that are easy for me to do, sort of in between meetings or that can run in the background, like running the Roomba upstairs or downstairs or putting laundry on or things like that, those will be things that I will sort of tackle and get going in between meetings. 
Monday morning, I also try to get done a general tidy of the living room, and I will try to run the Roomba on Mondays, most Mondays, because that's the first day the kids are back in school after being home all weekend. I don't want to be doing the big, deep house cleaning tasks on the weekend because that's when we're all home and we want to relax. And I, for one, don't want to do a ton of cleaning on the weekends. Sometimes it happens, sometimes there are some bigger tasks that I just can't accomplish during my work week, and that's okay. But I try to accomplish as many of those like little things as I can while I'm working, multitasking in the best way possible. So things like, like I said, laundry, uh, running the Roomba, running the dishwasher so that when the kids get home after school, they can just go ahead and start emptying it and get it all ready. Once my work day has come to an end, it is then time for me to log off. So what I love to do is um, close that laptop <laughs> and shuts all my screens down. I put my keyboard and my mouse away underneath the monitorizers. I flip up those arms, uh, the armrests on my chair and I slide it in and I mentally check out from work. Neil and I try to plan our meals for the week ahead on like Saturday or Sunday. And we have a little chalkboard in our kitchen which we use to write down the meals that we're gonna be having for the week up ahead. And that way, we check that message board for any of the food items that we need to purchase on the weekend grocery shop. And we also check for things like, do we have enough items for school snacks? Do we have pantry staples that we need? But uh, yeah, we sort of check like our, our pantry staples, our food staples, things that we use frequently in cooking like chicken stock and other things like that. And they get added to the grocery list and then usually Neil, but sometimes I will then go do the grocery shopping. Neil and I swap out for cooking dinners. Uh, we both work full time and we both end our work day approximately around 4.30. Sometimes if I have a later start to my day or if I need to really put in some time, I will really stretch my work day out. It'll start early and it'll end late. And then after that, there'll be days where I end early to go deal with kids stuff like appointments um, and all those sorts of things. And after dinner, if we remember, we get the kids to put together just the main portion of their lunch for the next day. If we don't, we don't. And after dinner is when we relax. Uh, the kids are told no more uh, technology. After dinner, we're trying to get better about getting the kids off their devices after supper to do more relaxing things like puzzles and toys and books and just playing with each other, coloring, using imagination, that sort of thing. As the daylight gets longer and the days get warmer, we'll try to kick them outside for that bit of time in the evening that sort of thing um, and it is when my husband and I will sort of check in with each other and we'll see if there's anything that one of us wants to do on our own that evening or if there's something that uh, one of the partners wants to do um, like if they want to do something together like if Neil and I want to play some Mystic Veil vale together or if we want to watch an episode of a TV show that we're enjoying or things like that. Uh, the evening too is when I'll finish up certain tasks that I started during the day that I didn't get finished. So like if I washed and dried the laundry, this is when I'll pull it out to either fold on my own, set aside for Neil to fold, or fold with the kid or give to the kid in general. As far as dividing the tasks, I typically take care of vacuuming and mopping both floors of the house although there's no mopping to do downstairs we don't have any hardwood floors downstairs it's all carpet um, except in the little tiny bathroom it's a bit of linoleum he hand washes the dishes we both sort of take care of loading the dishwasher although I'm typically the one now who makes sure that it's getting run on time and chasing after the right kid to uh, to take care of emptying it I deal with the litter boxes and my husband deals with picking up dog poop in the backyard. Weekends tend to be sort of just about sorting certain things out for us. Um, if there is some sort of big mess that we need to tackle together, we'll do it together usually on a weekend. So like a few weeks ago, we tackled the kitchen together. <clears throat> I decluttered pretty much all of our cupboards and just 
put them back into good order. We tackled the spice cupboard together and the pantry, and we both uh, contributed to cleaning the counters, the cupboards, cleaning the oven, the top of the stove, sort of things like that. Saturday and Sunday mornings, we like to sleep in if we can. Uh, that's usually determined very much by how loud our kids are in the morning when they wake up and how late we stayed up the night before. And we also tend to stay in bed for quite a while in the morning. Uh, we were given money towards uh, a new bed this uh, past Christmas. We upgraded from a queen to a king. We are both older now. Neil's in his 40s and I'm in my late 30s. And we want to, to have a place to have good quality sleep and be comfortable and supported and not hurting ourselves. Like I was literally starting to get neck problems and I was pretty sure it was from the mattress and the pillows that we were using, sort of like the positions that we were sleeping in and the space that we had. So yeah, on the weekends, we love to sit in it and enjoy it and lay in it. So we will wake up and then usually one of us will go upstairs and make tea and or coffee and then we'll come back in and we will settle in for a bit of chill time in the bed. Uh, a lot of it will be spent browsing videos or things on our phones as I slowly but surely wake up for the day. Things like meditation and ritual are scheduled in when they are needed. I'm not a meditate every day sort of girl. I have tried very hard to be in the past. It's not something that I want to do every day. But when I want to do it, it is almost always in the evening. So sometimes that's something that I will do after I've put the kids to bed. I will go sit in bed often and, and do it then. And um, yeah, on the weekends is also when I make time uh, to catch up on reading. I do try to read throughout the week. I try to do at least a little bit of reading every single day. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. I hope that you found this video interesting maybe informative, maybe helpful, maybe just fun. I don't know. Let me know if you have questions about where certain things fall into my schedule, whether it's work week or weekend, and I'd be happy to dive into it in the future. And if there's other types of lifestyle videos that you want me to break down so that you can see what's going on and find out, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. What are some things you'd like to hear from me? All right, guys, until next time, take care. Bye.